the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you are watching Vector Art. So today we are going to learn how to create a WinForms application using the NuGet package Guna. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's start by creating a new project. And uh, here we are going to search for WinForms application from the list. So let's use the search bar and look for WinForms. Select the first link and click on next. Let's uh, now fill out the project properties like the project name and the location which you want to place the file and click on create. Now let's select the form and go to its properties and change a couple of properties. So select the form, go to properties and let's select the uh, change the startup position to center screen. And next we will change the form border or the uh, border style to none so we don't have a border now now let's uh, change the size of the window okay now let's uh, go to the solution explorer and right click on the project and click on manage nuget properties now let's browse uh, the term guna g u n a and select the nuget package and click on install this uh, package will uh, um, install a set of tools in the toolbar which will help you design the UI. It, it has a whole lot of uh, design elements like the text box and all the other controls that are found in uh, Windows Forms application and they have these uh, beautiful animations and customizations available on them. So now this is installed. So let's go to the form and open the toolbox and you will see another tab here on the top. Okay, let's expand it and let's add the first control that is the Guna Eclipse. I'm sorry, uh, the ellipse control and let's select the ellipse control and then uh, go to properties and the set the target target control as form one so you can see that uh, we have the rounded edges to the form now now let's add a drag control on the form and also set the target as form one for it so this will allow you to drag the uh, form on the screen okay let's run the application once Okay, now let's stop the application and let's start adding other elements. First, let's add two panels. Okay, let's uh, set the dock to left and resize the panel. Let's add one more panel and let's change the dock as well to fill. Now, adjust the uh, size. And now let's add a picture box on the second panel. So let's select a picture box and drag and drop on the second panel. Let's resize it and let's go and select the image for that. You can do it to uh, both ways. You can go to the properties panel and select the image source. or you have another option on top of the control itself you can click on it and change the important properties here so here i am setting the size mode to zoom uh, we i observe that our window color is different from the image so let's uh, change the form color to white for that we can select the panel and right click and select the form one and now go to properties and change the form background color to white okay so the the uh, next uh, let's add a label 
so you can search for a label control and you can take the HTML uh, label and uh, drag and drop it on the uh, screen now next let's change the text property uh, to get started and also change the form color here I'm using the uh, tool from uh, icons 8 uh, which will help us uh, to uh, select the color or pick a color also this uh, tool will help us uh, in uh, selecting or uh, downloading the required icons but in this uh, video I'm not uh, displaying any icons so we'll just make use of the uh, color picker so let's uh, select the uh, label and change the color and also the size next uh, we'll make a copy of that so right click copy and paste now let's uh, change the size to 8 and change the four color to dark gray also change the text to name next next let's uh, draw a text box on top of the uh, panel one so let's click on the properties uh, that is uh, right next to the uh, control and change the placeholder text to name so, yeah, let's set a border radius and a thickness and also let's uh, change the four color to a dark gray and change the fill color to light gray and also let's uh, change the placeholder uh, four color to a darker gray I am just uh, trying out a couple of things here just to see what looks best so now that I have the final uh, output, let's copy the two elements and paste it and uh, we'll have to paste it twice. First, uh, let's change the second uh, label to email and also the placeholder text for the second text box uh, to email. Now let's paste it one more time and let's before that let's click on the animated uh, checkbox. Uh, this will uh, add some subtle animations to it so let's paste it one more time and now let's uh, change the final uh, elements let's change the text to password and to change this uh, last text box to a password we'll have to select it and go to properties and set the password care to a character that you choose so here I am selecting a dot and that's it. Uh, now we'll have to just remove the placeholder text. Okay. So let's I let's uh, click on the animated checkbox and run the application once. So you'll see that uh, the password. Uh, Xbox is working as expected so let's stop the application now and let's add button okay so we have this uh, beautiful looking button we'll have to do a couple of changes to its properties like setting the border radius and the color fill color and let's also select the animations so I'm taking making use of the color picker to set the color and let's set the text let's set a border radius to 5 and let's change the fill color to the color that we have selected from the color picker let's click on the animated and use the transparent background okay uh, let's copy and paste button once again now we want another button for sign in uh, and this one will not have any fill color it will be a transparent button just uh, the text will be highlighted in the color picked from the color picker so 
so we have selected the fill color as transparent and the four color to the color I've selected from the color pick also we'll have to go to the font and uh, set the font style to bold okay so let's uh, resize it and place it next to the sign up button so let's run it okay and that's it yeah so the last thing that we have to do will be to add a checkbox to agree to the terms and conditions let's stop the application and select a checkbox from the guna controls and paste it on the panel one so let's set a text before that let's change the font to the font that we are using throughout the form and change the font size and also set a text As you can see I am not able to add the text on a different line so that change we will be uh, making in the properties panel so right now I'm just adding the text here and changing a couple of other properties so here we see three categories one is the general uh, properties then we have the checked state and the unchecked state so we have to make the changes for the checked state and unchecked state accordingly here i have set a border radius of 5 uh, but i believe uh, it should be reduced to 2 uh, because uh, it is a small uh, square and a border of 5 will result in a circle okay so let's make it 2 much better let's do the same changes to the check state as well only in the check state uh, we will have a different color so we are setting the same color that we selected from the color picker and the check mark color will be black okay so let's resize the control and uh, before that see uh, here you can see that we cannot uh, um, bring the line to a um, break so let's select the uh, text and remove it and then go to the properties panel and change the text property in the properties panel so let's go to the properties panel and go to the text property and paste it here and add a line break so that's done let's change the text alignment okay and let's run the application once is working as expected now let's stop the application and we have one more thing to add that is the close button so let's uh, search for a control box and paste it on the second panel let's set the size in the properties panel Select the control box and go to properties and change the size. Okay. And also let's change the hover style. So uh, we'll have to select the color when we hover the mouse on top of the control.
so we'll have to select the control and go to the properties panel and under the hover state we'll have to change the color to the same color that we picked in the fill color and that's it guys i think uh, our ui is ready and you can see that the animation is working fine and also the action so hope you all like watching this video if you do like share and subscribe to my channel also you can download this uh, uh, application from the uh, github repository the source code is uploaded there you can uh, go to the description video description and click on the link thank you